Hello YouTube, it's great to see you. Welcome back. Today, we'll be doing more Steins Gate. We're finally getting back to this. Excuse for what I've been avoiding us for so far. <laughs> Mainly because I knew it would be a pain in my throat and God, it has been killing me for the past few days. Thank God to allergies. It's the best thing in the world. Can you would not believe it. Uh, so excuse me if I cough like every once in a while. Uh, <laughs> It get, it's a pain. It's just allergies. It goes through the seasons. You know how it works. Ooh, I can already tell this is going to be a tough run. Anyways. But it's all part of the program. <laughs> what you going to do? Fight the power? Ugh, I wish. Oh, that's my favorite thing to do. Moving on. We were just saying goodbye to uh, Miyuri. That was the name. Yes, I have it right there. It says, it says so right here. In fact, there she is. Moving on. Going with her tonal tutoru typicalness. We'll see her off. Miyuri passes the archway and runs off while waving to me until I can't see her no more. Oh, here comes uh, her back again, I think. Okabe-san, sorry to keep you waiting. Oh yeah, that's right. We were having a... I forgot what it was called. Um... Oh yes, we were being possessed. That was the correct way. <laughs> Help me, blah. Yeah. Hey, why is that in Japanese? Eh, yeah, annoying stuff. As if to replace Miyuri, Rikaku returns. In his hand, he's holding a weird tufty thing. Oh yeah, that's right, the weird wand thing that those guys carry. As to help, uh, uh, no, do something. I was able to borrow it. What a relief. Yes, as if the, um, uh, what's it called, uh, Oh my god, the possession would have already not killed him or done something by now. Uh, he should have brought the sword too, just in case. Huh? Miyuri Chan left. Oh yeah, she went to grab some water. <laughs> Salt and water. Rikaku, don't worry about Miyuri and start the exorcism already. Uh, yes, are you really fine with it? What exactly am I supposed to exercise anyway? Exorcist. Rikaku is getting nervous. Right after I think about how unreliable he is, chills suddenly run down my spine. Oh! Oh. I'm sorry, I gave a spoiler. Very big spoiler alert. <laughs> I thought I'd already passed this. Oh, whoops again. As I said, I had to cut recording at some point and uh, stop doing some stuff due to some lightning storm, which deleted the footage, made me re have to do it again. Oh, what a pain, but. Guess what? We're being possessed. Uh, well, I was possessed by water earlier, so fair enough. Well, let's get possessed again, why don't we? Uh, possessing me. Well, finally shaking her to grab my own wrist. Ah. C calm down, you wicked being. Hurry, Rukaku. At this rate, it will take control of me. <laughs> this is hilarious. No, no way. Okabe-san, please get a hold of yourself. I need to come up with a voice for him. <laughs> well, girl, you are such a... I'm not... Oh, pick... Okay, son. <laughs> That's right. This is my voice here. Oh, my God. I dropped something. But this doesn't matter. I'm being possessed. Oh, he's about to cry. I apologize. Uh, all right. All right. Here's the voice. I apologize, Rika... Kiyosama. Uh, but what should I do? <laughs> the exorcism. Hurry. Do it the same way that I taught you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh my god, this is the case for him. Oh wait, I better put this down. <laughs> it's probably gonna get annoying. But the dramatic music fits perfectly. Rukaku puts on serious looks and grips the shy wand with both hands. All oh, into serious mode with a little hit. girlish hair bend. <laughs> His posture and expression makes him give off a powerful atmosphere. <laughs> um, I err. Uh, Kaku is stuttering with a complete red face. Oh, poor him. Looks like he's hesitant about what to say. The embarrassment is making him panic. God damn this novice. Brew cock, please drive out the evil spirit from inside me. I don't want to kill you. <laughs> ah. Rikaku starts crying. <laughs> oh my god. Looks like he's really worrying. He obviously doesn't know that much. 
I'm completely aware that he's a guy, but his actions and appearance make me feel guilt as if I made a frail girl cry. It's, it's commanding. I can't believe with all this he's still a guy. Yeah, but he's a guy. We're gonna know that. We know that. But as his eyes get filled with tears, it looks like he finally built up the resolve. It, evil spirit. He raised the shied wand high above the head and then swing it at left to right. Bring the dramatic voice into this because this is so dramatic we have to do it from there. Please leave Rukaku Kaban no Kyosama body. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. I need to pronounce that very. That's good. Now hit me uh, my arm with the tufty staff. <laughs> eh? <laughs> then the shied wand hits my upper arm. I'm. In manga and such, this would be the cue for some dramatic shockwave to occur, but nothing like that happens. The only thing that I hear are the cries from the sides. The sides. Oh, those little animal things. How was? How was it? <laughs> I deeply sigh. <sighs> the shaking of my hand has stopped. It's fine. Looks like the evil spirit has left. Well done, Rikaku. <laughs> After a sigh of relief, Rukaku blushes. So, of course. Ah, uh, it's, it's, now it just seems so creepy that it's a guy. Spit, it, it, oh, I was about to say spirit. That you are not my dog, though you are equivalent to one. Syrup, go. Disappear. You are the evil spirit within my hand. No, no! Stay! Do I need to keep you down here? Do, oh, what did I do that for? No, I was afraid he's going to get back up there. Eh, uh, close this menu. I am happy to be a servant. I am happy to be a service. <laughs> I really need to work on that voice. Something else. Tech 0690. What? That bashful appearance makes him look too feminine. Uh, so end of scene. Finally, we head back home. Oh, well, this is like an interesting scene. I like this. <laughs> that would be interesting to have downstairs from your place. I kind of want to live here. But nah, nah, you don't, you don't want to live here. Nah. Oh no, to own the store would be pretty interesting. After I got back from the lab, I took the TV that I broke down this noon to the C CRT workshop below us to have it fixed. Fair enough. Daru and Yuri have already went home, so bringing this TV alone through a narrow, steep stairway was back-breaking work. Uh, genius, though. <laughs> Lucky you didn't break it. Opening the door with the hit of my hip, I enter the workshop. At this late hour, it's... In this dim lit store, the huge CRT, which shows with some foreign news programs, feels awfully bright. Though all the TVs are dark except for that one there. I'm guessing that's the one that's showing the news. A 42 CRT TV. I don't think it's possible to get one in Japan these days. Why? Is it like old style or something? With LCD TVs becoming the standard, I truly doubt that someone would want to come to this shop and buy a CRT. Ah, so they are going out of stock. So these are like the old TVs in this generation. But God, that looks so fancy like an alien or something keeping a spaceship right there. Now who wouldn't want that? I would I would like that hanging in my room like top right corner or something like that. Uh, that'd be interesting. <laughs> uh. Oh hey, here's the other man, the workshop guy, all muscly and all. He looks like brick there. I don't get that. All square like. He, he must be, he must have come from the Minecraft world. He, uh, been cubed up a bit. Oh, what's up, Pokebe? Yes, uh, this guy. I don't know what his name is. Have, have we seen him before? I know I've watched... Oh, wait. Jack Hummer. Alright, well, wrong Jack Hummer. That's gonna be his name. But probably a Kiss the Chef shirt or something like that. And from this huge CRT sits a middle-aged, muscular delinquent reading a sports newspaper. A delinquent? Okay, yeah, because every bald guy with like a, that kind of mustache and beard thing is a delinquent and with muscles, lots and lots of muscles. <laughs> with, that says Jack. Okay, he kind of fits the description. Take off that shirt, and yeah, you probably mistake him for someone who's in jail or something like that. Though, is that, is that like I've never seen someone with yellow eyes. I don't think. I think. Have you seen anyone with yellow eyes? Is that like natural? I don't know. I think of it. I don't think I've ever seen anyone with yellow eyes. This man is both the owner of the building and the shopkeeper of this establishment. To know Jay, you go. Oh, so he's not Jack Hummer. <laughs> that would have been an interesting name to name someone. 
I call him Mr. Braun. Mr. Braun, uh, yeah, that... Alright, well, we're gonna call him Mr. Jack Hunter. <laughs> but Mr. Braun, oh, uh, yeah, that fits his description perfectly. That's because he's a weirdo who loves Braun, too. What the heck does a Braun do? I am of the younger generation, so don't yell at me for not knowing, but what the hell is a brawn tube? What the hell? Not bra tube. That, now that sounds really good. A brawn tube. Uh, I said that with rolling my eyes. Don't you give me a what's up. Your damn TV broke on me. <laughs> what else? Uh, oh, I can see how you kind of got on his bad time. You brat, did you treat my CRT violently? Oh, I can see you very cute. He cares a lot for the CRT units, or whatever these are. Fair enough, that's always good to hear. You always wanted to have someone take care of the CRT. Which, again, I am of the younger generation, so I have... Well, I know I used to have one, probably, but I just don't know what that stands for, or LRT for that matter. No, I'm not of this generation, I am an alien. I barely managed to put the heavy TV on the counter. Syrup! Fuck you! Get out of here! I already have enough of you on this table that made a mess, so get out of here. Hmm. These need to be handled with love, you know. Love! <laughs> Alright, I need to do a deeper voice or something. Love! There we go. Now this is the voice he should have. And for someone named Braun, that sure fits him. For such a stern man to talk about something like a love. Well, <laughs> I actually got fits him, I don't know. That sure sends chills down my spine. I mean, how how does it not? I mean, like a voice like that, to talking to you like that. No, yeah, you would, you you ought to have chills down your spine. So that sounds very. Moving on, I request that you fix it and prioritize it over all your other works. You're kidding. As usual, you're speaking in a stupid way. <laughs> yeah, me and Mitoru, we are connected. We are one in the same year. <laughs> it kind of feels it that way. The shopkeeper begins to investigate to find the prom, and I, having nothing better to do, look around at the shop. Of course, well, what else would you do? I don't know if it's dust or whatever, but the atmosphere in here is kind of stagnant. Uh, maybe it's kind of the old TV type things. The shop, I, I, the shop is filled with CRTs. I mean, I've, I've been into these shops before. I, I understand the feeling of what it is. It's kind of weird, like. The way they're all over the place makes them seem like a, like trash, but according to Mr. Braun, all of them work and are up for sale. Every single one of them? CRT, oh, wait, wait, we got some mail, we got some mail. Alright, oh, no, 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 no. For once we need syrup, syrup, come here. New mail received. Miuri, Miuri sent us some mail. I didn't want any of that other Gero frog, froggies at all. But I did want fatty. What's a fatty? But you know, now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't really that cute at all. Actually, it kind of what? Actually, it was kind of icky, maybe. I wonder why I wanted it that much in the first place. Now that I think about it, fatty kind of looks like Garukun. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, I didn't want any of the other Jiro frogs at all. But I did want fatty, but you know, now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't really that cute at all. Wait, wait, where's the, f who's fatty? What the hell? I thought, okay, I remember we were talking about Opa, but how do we go from an Opa to Gerald Frogs and Fatty? Well, they're both a similar thing. They're like those mainstream popular little toy things. They're like Hello Kitty in a way. <laughs> if you resemble that to something. I know what the Gerald Frogs is. Those things were popular. I know, I know what they are. They are adorable though. <laughs> I agree with you there, but I don't know. I've never really seen him before. I've seen him in like uh, animes and stuff, but that's.